Welcome to the lecture series on data structures. In this lecture, we talk about Dijkstra's algorithm. This algorithm is used to identify the shortest path between any pair of vertices in a given graph G is equal to V comma E, where every edge is attached with a weight in terms of distance. And uh, this algorithm was conceived by uh, Professor uh, Edgar W. Dijkstra's computer scientist in 1956. The algorithm focuses on identifying the shortest paths from a given vertex to all other vertices. The input is a graph with weights and the output is set of all shortest paths from the uh, suitable so given vertex to all other vertices. The algorithm proceeds like this. We will initiate a, T, a set as T is equal to the set of singleton V where the B is the starting vertex from which the distances are to be calculated. Now from V we update all the direct distances to the remaining vertices in the distance array. We will update the weights where from V we can uh, reach to the vertex through direct edge. Then we also initiate a cost matrix uh, which consists of uh, uh, weights of the edges and um, we update the direct edges here again. If there is no direct edge between a pair of vertices, we will add uh, infinity in terms of uh, theoretically. Uh, but uh, for practical purposes, we add a very large number there in the cost matrix. Then we keep on iteratively update this cost matrix and the distances uh, by choosing one vertex at a time. So now choose a vertex u in vg minus t that means vg is set of all vertices in the graph t consists of singleton v right now so choose u from the set that is which is not present in t having minimum distance among all such vertices so if u is such a vertex add u to t and once we add this Update distances from B to all other vertices to B as minimum of for each vertex W we are updating the weights as minimum of distance of W comma distance of U plus cost of UW. It means from V to W for a given vertex W from V to W there is a direct distance. If there is a direct distance is it is it lesser than the distance from V to U and U to W. So why are you whether the distance is decreasing or not. If it is decreasing the distance uh, via U then we will update the distance as the new distance. So once we update the weights for each such vertex we need to update the weights in the distance matrix and cost matrix. Like this we keep on adding the remaining vertices into T one by one and update the distance and cost matrices. So once this all, all the remaining vertices are added to the, uh, in this process to T, the algorithm stops. The algorithm will take the input as number of vertices and the cost matrix of the given graph G is equal to V comma E and we will initialize the cost matrix as a, with the weights of uh, between any pair of vertices and if it all exists we will put infinity at the uh, direct edge is not there. Uh, if you look into the algorithm part, t is equal to a singleton 1 and uh, for i running from 2 to n, distance i is equal to cost of 1 comma i. Initially we are updating distances as from the vertex 1 to all other vertices, 1 to n, all other vertices we are updating distances as the initial costs. Then for i running from 1 to n minus 1, the, for the remaining vertices we are calculating, updating the distances via u. Choose a vertex u in v minus t such that the distance of u is minimum and uh, add u to t and for each vertex w in u, v minus t uh, you update the weights. You keep on doing this in a for loop for, for the, all the remaining vertices. So once we update in a for loop for all the vertices the end result should consist of the updated value. Let us consider an example here consisting of uh, uh, a, b, c, d, e, f vertices. So we update the cost matrix here uh, A to F in terms of the weights, direct weights. If there is no direct edge, we are adding 9999 which is treated as infinity large number here. Now uh, the distance array is also updated from the, we are considering starting vertex as A. So T is updated as uh, 
initial uh, vertex. So once it is updated, the distance array shall consist of the distances from A to all the remaining vertices. So B, C, D, E, F are the remaining vertices and the distances are updated in the distance array. Now according to the algorithm, uh, we'll choose the least distance here. Uh, the corresponding vertex is B. Now we add B to T and we update the weights from uh, A to the remaining vertices via B. If at all the distance via B is minimum than the direct distance, we update that. So for C, the direct distance is infinity or 999 and here in this case and the indirect distance via B is A to B is 45 and B to C is 20. So the distance is updated as 65, 20 plus 45. Similarly for D, the dis direct distance is 50 but the indirect distance is A to B 45, B to D it is 10, 55. So 50 is less than that so we are not updating that. Similarly for E, 60 is uh, not updated because there is a least because A to B is 45 and B to E is infinity, 9999. So we are not updating that. Whereas in case of F, A to F is infinity or uh, then uh, B to F, B to F is 25 and A to B is 45. So the total distance is 70. This is updated as the new distance. 70 is updated here. Now when it comes to the next uh, least of the uh, existing ones, uh, 50 is the least, so D is the vertex, corresponding vertex. Now we try to update all the weights in terms of D. Uh, but incidentally, uh, B is already updated, the remaining vertices are C, E, F. When it comes to C, direct distance is 65, but uh, A to D is 50, D to C is infinite. So we, we need not update this. Similarly, in case of E, direct distance is 60. A to D is uh, 50, D to E is 10, so it's anyway 60 again, so not updating again. Similarly, when it comes to F, A to F is 9999 and uh, sorry, it is updated as 70 and when it comes to D, D to F is 20, A to D is 50, again same distance, so up distance is not updated here. Now even uh, for uh, inclusion of D, the distances are not updated. Similarly, in case of the next list is uh, 60 E, uh, you can also observe that only remaining vertices are uh, C and uh, F. For C, distance is not updated because 65 is the least not updated and even for 70, distance is not updated here. The next list is C, 65, corresponding vertex is C. Only vertex left to be updated is F. The direct distance uh, here updated distance is 70. And when it comes to A to C, updated distance is 65, C to F it is 10, it comes to 75, so cannot be updated here. So in case of F also, the last vertex, whatever is there, no further vertexes are there, F is added and the algorithm stops. Now by this time, uh, the array B, C, D, E, F consists of all the distances from the vertex A and these are the shortest distances from the respective vertices. From the graph also you can observe that A to B 45 is the least, A to C though direct uh, edge is not there, 65 is having the least weight among all the possible edges, possible paths. A to E again direct distance is uh, 60 and uh, A to F 70 direct distance is not there. Through of all possible edges uh, 70 is the least one, distance is the least one. So here the distress algorithm finds uh, the shorter distances. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can share it with your friends so that uh, majority of the students can be benefited.